Hi everybody, Steve Houston. Welcome back to my channel. Believe it or not, we are on a 24-day run in July, which means we're putting up one new video every day, Monday through Friday, for the month of July. I think we're on 14, 13, 14. I've lost count. I've lost sleep and some count. I appreciate you investing your time and watching these videos and supporting my channel. Look, I could not resist over the last few weeks. There have been a a few videos put up talking about the MLM element in our industry. I want to address a couple things. David DeFord put up a good video, which I will try to link in the description. Also, another one regarding this very topic. And I wanted to both clarify and expand on what has been said. So let me say this. This is not an attack on David DeFord. Uh, listen, I think David is a good guy. I don't know him well. We've touched base a couple of times. But I do know this. He brings value to our industry. And if you're not subscribed to his channel and consuming some of his advice on selling final expense, you really should be. He and I simply have different approaches to a great industry. He's a final expense guy, and I advise my clients to be insurance agents and sell what the client wants. Mortgage session, final expense, or all types of life insurance serve the client where they are at. And to grow a business where you have a lifetime client and referrals, you really need to be serving a younger market. Doesn't mean I'm against final expense at all. Here's what I think some clarification needs to be put into context. The conversation about your IMO is encouraging you to build an agency, then it must be an MLM. I think many agents are not hearing what he is saying or referencing, and they get confused. So you really have to look a bit deeper as to what an MLM type IMO or insurance marketing organization or agency is. Many believe that because an agent is allowed to build an agency by hiring and recruiting agents, then that makes it MLM or network marketing type IMO. And that cannot be farther from the truth. Here's the deal. All insurance companies grow their agencies or their organization by hiring and recruiting agents. State Farm, Allstate, Farmers, New York Life, where I started ran an ad, I went and interviewed, and I was hired as a 1099 agent with a very short window of a draw against commission. So basically, I was straight commission. Same thing that we do here every single day. So I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what the message is, okay? So I can properly address that with anyone that calls me. So I went and looked at David's YouTube playlist, and he promotes that he's actively recruiting and hiring agents on every video and every email that he sends out. So I know that he does not believe that an IMO that allows you to recruit and hire an agents is an MLM. So what's the deal here? And why is it so many agents tell me that he is against any IMO that allows someone to focus on building an agency? Because clearly he's not. This is a common misconception by many agents, and I wanted to share that with you today. As many of you know, I got started here on YouTube back in 2016, I think it was, posting a video about Angela and I leaving an IMO specifically because of the recruiting process. So let's start there. Let me be clear, I firmly disagree with any IMO or any company or agency that requires an agent to recruit new blood or people in order to get promoted and given a higher contract rate on personal production on them bringing in new agents. Be clear, I believe that all agents should be paid for the amount of premium they bring the IMO and the carriers regardless of whether or not they want to recruit others to sell life insurance and build an agency, or it's on their own pen through personal production, right? So you got two choices, personal production on your own pen and building an agency. They're two different paths, but they all count towards how much money you're going to make and also to your contract increase promotions. But be clear, personal production on your own pen and building an agency are two different things. And as agents, we are personal producers or agency builders should be compensated on the amount of premium that we bring into that IMO and to that insurance carrier each month and year. So the way we do it here is we have two paths. We have a personal producer's compensation plan that goes from 60 to 145 plus percent and above. Next, we have a building an agency or a manager plan, which includes hiring, recruiting, and training others to sell mortgage session, final expense, and life insurance. There's a big side note here though, an agent advances up the contract compensation plan by either doing number one or number two or both. Remember, you and I should be compensated based only on the amount of premium that we bring that IMO and that insurance carrier. Whether we do it 
or we've got 100 agents that are helping us do it, it's all the same volume. So that agent gets promoted based on the amount of premium he or she brings the IMO and the insurer. If he or she is a personal producer, that APV counts. If he or she is a personal producer, then that APV counts towards any contract increase or promotion. If he or she is an agency builder, then you count all the premium combined, what his or her team did and what they did in personal production, put them together and move up the comp plan based on that total annual premium volume. Count it all. That is how all IMOs should do it, but many do not. It's the only ethical way of compensating mortgage session, final expense, life insurance agents, period. It should not be based on any other criteria. I also think it's worth agreeing on what MLM stands for, because again, I find that to be a major misunderstanding. It stands for multi-level marketing, talking about a multi-level compensation plan, which, you know, many companies fall under this type of a comp plan, not just network marketing type companies. There are Fortune 500 companies that operate the same way. So I'm left to assume that what David is talking about or often refers to as MLM is really talking about network marketing. It's an IMO that encourages the agent to put these three things in order. Recruit, 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 right? And don't get those three things out of order. Some, including the IMO I left seven years ago, place more emphasis on recruiting than selling life insurance. So in 2016, when I talked about that the issue is not MLM, or, and not really even network marketing, that's the problem. All the IMOs and insurance companies that allow you and I to build our own agency want to recruit and hire as many agents as possible since we get paid on the amount of APV or premium volume that we bring to the insurance company. So it makes perfect sense. The more agents that I have, the more sales will be made and the higher the volume of APV that my insurance agency will be sending the insurance companies. So the issue is not that the IMO or agency is pushing recruiting. The real issue and a writer downer for this video is, do they force you to recruit to be promoted to higher compensation contracts? Anytime you are not paid what you are worth based solely on the amount of premium dollars that you brought to that insurance agency or IMO or insurance carrier because you did not bring enough people into the industry for that company is plain and simple wrong. Recruiting and building an agency is a personal choice that everyone should make on their own and not everyone should build their own agency. Since once you start down that road, you are no longer in the insurance industry, you are in the people business. Not everyone can succeed in the people business. It can be a challenging road. However, if I bring APV sales and customers that allow me to be promoted to a higher contract, well then, I deserve to be promoted regardless of whether or not I have recruited anyone. So in closing, to figure out whether or not you are in an insurance MLM, all you really need to do is look at the promotion guidelines. Again, where I would agree with David is, when the IMO attaches your promotion based on any recruiting requirements, then it is a clear network marketing type IMO. There's also some comments made in the past there's also been some comments made in the past about not allowing agents to recruit and build their agency early on. So let's dive into that for a second. Is that saying that you can recruit, but your agents cannot recruit and create that passive income? The only reason why that would make sense, and I would agree with this, is if you're a new agent, how can you train agents with limited or no experience at all? That is a valid point, and I think they would agree with that as well. Here's where the problem lies. If your agency or your IMO does not offer any training since you brought them in, and they hold you responsible for training them, and you don't have a support system, and that leaves that agent at risk. Here at our agency, Promise Financial Insurance Group, we provide and always have since our inception, hands-on getting started training that all agents go through regardless of who hired them. So we do not hold anyone back from starting their own agency here since we put everyone through the same training at an agency level regardless of who brought them into the agency. If the agency or IMO does not support an agent regardless of who brought them in and expects a hiring agent, and there are many IMOs and agencies that operate that way, by referring those agents that have questions or need training back to that hiring manager, therein lies the problem. And that is that network marketing approach. They send them back to that original hiring manager to provide that support. If you're part of that type of an IMO, then you should wait before hanging your shingle outside your office on your new agency until you are well-trained and can provide them that support. Otherwise, you're doing, as I said earlier, a great disservice 
to that agent and wasting their time and money. And that is a good warning sign for anyone watching this video, is before you sign with any agent or IMO, you need to be certain that they have hands-on coaching and mentoring to provide training to get you started protecting families and will provide that support also to your direct agents that you bring in should you decide to build an agency. This really is a critical discussion for you to have with that hiring agent that's trying to recruit you to sell. If they are the network marketing type and it's all about recruiting and you cannot get promoted to a higher contract without recruiting people, you need to run away from that agent and the company that they work with because it is a network marketing pipe IMO. Honestly, if you want to take full advantage of what this opportunity offers all of us, a big part of that is building a business that will provide you personal freedom, the ability to own your own future by owning your own income, and that income is passive. And all that means is you're paid handsomely for the amount of premium that you send. So it's easy to understand that usually, not always, but usually you and a team of agents will send more premium to the insurance companies than you will as a sole producer. Plus, if you are fortunate to be a good mentor, coach, and trainer, and you do have a system in place to train those agents, you will build a large passive income stream to where you're no longer have to sell yourself, basically 10xing your efforts by focusing on building an agency. As John Paul Getty said, Perfectly, I'd rather have 1% of the effort of 100 men and women than 100% of my own effort. That is what we've been doing for many years. And what I love and enjoy about this industry is investing my time in teaching agents and supporting agents and watching them prosper in the best vehicle on the planet for growing personal wealth and being able to do it with work-life balance. Within a few years, you can build an agency that will provide you an incredible lifestyle. So finally, let's be clear, encouraging you as a life insurance agent to build your own agency benefits you and the IMO, and there's nothing wrong with that. As long as, again, you are promoted based on the amount of insurance you bring to that IMO and not based on any requirement to recruit people, and that is a personal decision. The entire point here is that just because agents are allowed to recruit agents and build their own agency does not make them or the IMO network marketing type. And if you're an agency that restricts your ability to build an agency and does not support any agent that you hired or recruited the same way as they did you, then you really need to consider leaving, as I said earlier, and find someone that does what we have and what we've always done, which is provide hands-on, day-to-day, case-by-case, before, during, even with a 911 concierge call while you're with a client in the home or virtually, and also after the sales support. One-on-one -on -one training, coaching, and mentoring. That's what we've been doing since 2016. We provide the same training to every single agent that comes into our agency, regardless of who brought them into the company. Look, it, so that's it. Hope that clarifies a few things. Again, I'm grateful that you came here today to watch this video and invest your time in this information. And God willing, I'll see you tomorrow on the next video. See ya. Hi, my name is Steve, and this is Angela, and we're making a living 100% virtually, anytime, anywhere, while making a difference, living the dream, while we travel the country, and we can help you do the same. Come along with us. We're grateful you're here. Subscribe to the channel and like the videos. Bye. Goodbye.